room is 650 feet long, approximately seven stories tall. We actually have an almost identical room over on the Arizona side of the power plant. The only real difference, we do have nine large generators over there where we have eight here on this side. When all 17 generators are operating, we can produce enough electricity here for over a million homes. That's 2,080 megawatts. We actually send our electricity to three different states. Approximately 56% goes to Southern California. We keep 25% right here in Nevada. The remaining 19% does go to Arizona. Now, the very first large generator installed here in the power plant is actually the second one in line here in front of us, installed October 22nd, 1936. It actually takes about three years to manufacture a generator of this size, bring it in and put it in place, and it would take up to 60 railroad cars to bring in all the parts and pieces that are needed for just one of these units. By the end of 1939, we had nine of these large generators up and running. We became the largest hydroelectric power plant in the world. We held this record for another 10 years until we were surpassed by the Grand Coulee Dam in Washington State. Now the very last generator installed here in the power plant is also the last generator in line here in front of us all the way down the far end. It would be installed some 25 years after the first generator on December 1st, 1961. Now coming back to the large generator closest to us, looking about halfway down the center section, you can see a white lighted area. And if you look inside there, you'll be able to see the shaft of the generator turning. It's going around at 180 revolutions per minute. The shaft is 38 inches in diameter and is almost 70 feet long in three different sections. What we're seeing here in this room then is only the top 30 feet of the generator turbine with the turbine blade itself, some 40 feet below the floor of this room. That's where 22,000 gallons per second of water hits each turbine, revolves the shaft, and allows us to make our electricity. Now we actually have two very distinct types of turbines here in the power plant. The large units we've just been discussing are called France's reaction turbines, named after James Francis who developed them working in the textile mills in Lowell, Massachusetts back in the 1840s. We also have two examples here in the power plant of what's called the impulse type turbine. And one of them is this rust colored piece of equipment. Looks like it's embedded in the floor here in front of us with the railing running around. It's called a Pelton water wheel generator. And it's named after Lester Pelton who developed it working in the California gold fields back in the 1880s. Now our two water wheel generators were designed to supply all the power we might need to operate Hoover Dam. Now looking down the room ways toward the ceiling, you can see a green overhead crane spanning the width of the room. And if you look all the way down to the very end of the room, you can see we actually have a second crane. Each of these cranes is mounted on rails, can traverse the full length of this room. Each is capable individually of lifting up to 300 tons at a time. However, when we're working on our turbine generators, we sometimes have to lift over 550 tons. And we do this by combining the two cranes together. Now let's talk a little bit about the floor of the generator room, also the floor of the balcony that you're standing on. It's called terrazzo. It's from the Italian word for terrace, made out of marble chips and mortar, separated by aluminum strips, very labor intensive to install, but quite durable. We do have over 121,000 square feet of terrazzo flooring here in the dam on the power plant, some of it with Native American inspired designs. All installed back in the 1930s for less than $60,000. If we had to replace it today, the price would start at $3 million. Now given that we've had almost 45 million visitors standing right where you are right now since we opened up for tours back in 1937, we have to think this floor has served us quite well. Now we are going back to the elevators. If you'll wait for me at the doorway, I'm on my way over to lead you back.